Good afternoon everybody, good morning wherever you are in the world. Today's video we're going to talk about a little bit of grammar, we're going to talk about the zero conditional. So first of all let's talk about the form, how we make the zero conditional. Afterwards I'll give you the uses, why we use it, with lots of examples for you to either note down or just, just to remember. So we make the zero conditional by using an F clause and another clause. So the second clause depends on the F clause. So we've got F plus present simple plus present simple it should be on your screen somewhere. I never really know where. You can use other present tenses. I will explain how we do that later on in the video. So watch till the end if you want to see that. So why do we use this zero conditional? What's, what's the point in it? Like we could just use present simple. We could, but it's a condition. Yeah. So we need two parts to it. Like I said, we need F and we need our another clause. We use it for fact, first of all. We, we use it to talk about facts. Now if you, what happens if you put ice in the sun? It melts. That's a zero conditional sentence for you. That's a really common type. It's just a fact, yeah? If it rains, the grass gets wet. These are just common facts. Everybody knows about them, but, and as easy as this sounds, it's just, just that's, that's why we use the zero conditional. We can also use it for habits. Habits to talk about ourselves, what we do like in our daily routine. For example, if I, if I wake up late, I skip breakfast. If I wake up late, I don't have breakfast. If I sleep in, I take the car to work. If I sleep in, I take the car to work. I don't take the tram, just to be quicker, you know? So these are just facts and truths about my daily life. So the routines, habits, some of the sort of things we speak about when we use present simple. There's more examples for you. If it's too hot outside, I generally go red. I look like a lobster. Uh, because I'm Scottish and, and, and ginger. So I, if I go outside when it's hot, I turn into a lobster, I become a lobster. Zero conditional, facts, truths, habits. Now we use these to talk about like kind of general situations, not specific situations. When it's specific, we use the first conditional. That video will be coming soon, probably sometime after I make this one. So stay tuned and hit subscribe if you'd like to see more content just like this. And moving on to the next use of the zero conditional, and that's scientific facts. So like I said, if, 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 if you put ice in, in the heat, it melts, right? If you heat water to 100 degrees, it boils. These are just scientific facts. If you put chicken in the oven for too long at high heat, what happens? It burns. Whether that's scientific or not is another story, but in general it's a truth, right? It's a fact. So if we've got normal facts, scientific facts, just things that are generally true all the time. We also use the zero conditional for instructions, advice, and rules. And I'll give you these examples just kind of messed around so you can have a look at them. So what should you do if you want to get fit? If you want to get fit, you should start exercising. Zero conditional. F plus present simple plus present simple. If you want to be healthier, eat more fruit and veg, eat less, for example. So it's just some kind of advice. If you go to London, use public transport. So you've seen here that I've used an imperative, a kind of command, yeah? So I didn't say you use public transport, I said use. So it's like use transport. If you go to London, use public transport. It's, for it's, it's just advice, the, that's why we use the zero conditional. Now moving on to some rules. If you, if you drink alcohol, don't drive. It's kind of also advice, but it's more like a rule, yeah, it's a law, in fact. If you drink alcohol, don't drive. Don't use your phone when you take the exam. <coughs> Again, it's a, it's a rule, yeah? Zero conditional rules. Instructions are next. Now, when we, when we call someone and we want to speak to customer service, we don't always get there straight away. We have some like automated woman or some James Blunt song uh, playing in the background and the, the automated system or the computerized system will often say if you want to if you want to be connected with customer service press 2. Yeah so these are instructions yeah. If, uh, if your friend plans to phone you some night and actually you're going out you give the instructions to another person so if Arthur phones me Arthur, I don't have any friends called Arthur, but if Arthur phones me, tell him I'm out and to text me on WhatsApp. Again, it's, a, it's, it's instructions for a person to follow. So advice, rules and instructions, we've covered them. That's another way which, in which we can use the zero conditional. Now, we've, we've covered the basics basically. We've, we've covered all the ways we can use the zero conditional. And now I just want to add a couple of notes uh, on this. Now, in the, I said before you have two clauses. In both clauses, you can use negative. So, for example, if you don't like this video, don't subscribe. 
I'm joking obviously, I want you to subscribe, but if you don't like it, don't watch it. If you don't like it, don't subscribe. If you don't like it, good for you. So we can use negatives in both parts of the sentence, if we so wish. Another point is, instead of saying if not, we can use the word unless. Now, unless must be followed by a positive clause, yeah? So we can say, if it doesn't rain, the grass doesn't get wet. So instead of that, we can say, unless it rains, the grass doesn't get wet. That's just a fact, yeah? So unless is basically if not, and it's just extra vocabulary for you to, to use. So you're not always saying if not, if not, if not. You can also use modals, and modals are basically helping verbs. So verbs such as can, could, should, must, have to, they can all be used uh, to help other verbs and we can use them in zero conditional. Uh, like the one I used before with the drink driving, you shouldn't drink uh, if you drive tonight. It's, it's just, it's advice, yeah? And should is generally used as advice anyway, so I can help you if you want me to. It's, it's zero conditional, but we use can to, to, to modify help. So you can use all these. If you must leave the house while the coronavirus is still active, then be my guest but be careful and use hand sanitizer. That's really important. And you can also use other present tenses um, like present perfect and present continuous, but only when the other part or the other clause is uh, present simple. If you've ever tried sushi, you know that it tastes amazing. So we've used present perfect here. That's one example. Present continuous, you could say, I listen to music when I'm training. Again, it's facts, but we just changed the tenses a little bit and it's just more ways to use the zero conditional. And that's about it, guys. Uh, the only other thing I would like to say is that after you, after the if clause, if the if clause is first, you must put a comma after the first part. So if it rains, comma, I, I usually stay at home. Now, you can swap the clauses and start with the usually part. So I usually stay at home if it rains. When you swap it and if becomes the second part of the sentence, you don't need a comma. So just a little bit of punctuation advice for you if you use it in writing. And anyway, that's us. We've come to the end of the zero conditional video. I will be putting out more videos on conditionals, first, second, third, mixed conditionals even, lots of new vocabulary coming. If you liked the video, consider liking. If you loved the video, hit subscribe. That would be really amazing for me. So yeah, thanks very much for watching. Until the next one, goodbye.